All right. This is a battlefield. A battle of the River Raisin. I wish they were open a little longer, but Oh well. You know, I can always come back sometime during the day when they are open. First district court here in the log house of Jean Baptiste. Jer Jerome, the first, the, the federal court of the Erie District Territory of Michigan held its first session July 3rd, 1805. President Thomas Jefferson named Judge August Augustus B. Woodward to preside. Beginning in 1807, Hesse District Court of Common Pleas also met here or across the river in Francis Nevers house. Uh, cool. Held wounded American prisoners of war during the massacre at the River Raisin in the bitter cold dawn of January 23rd, 1813. Indian allies of the British scalped those who could not walk and buried and burned the house. That's this. That's this spot. Oh. History. It was all over the place here. Yeah, I'll never get those French names right, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Chicken. Yep, that's me. Chicken. Three hundred Americans, under Colonel Allen Lewis and Wells, fought desperately against three thousand British and allies under General Proctor, forced to surrender. Though promised British protection, the prisoners left unguarded were attacked and killed by the Indians. And this is site of the battles of 18, January 18th through the 22nd. General Winchester in command and River Raisin Massacre, January 23rd, 1813. Erected 1904 by the Civic Improvement Society of the Women of Monroe. probably told by some of the British regulars, go kill them, who cares? All that history happened in this area. It's amazing. Look at that. Look at the flag. It's the flag of 1813. Wow, look at that, I didn't notice that.
it's the flag that my great 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 grandfather would have known wow death of captain wolf fork the american captain john wolf fork hid in one of the French homes just east of here during the massacre at the River Raisin, January 23, 1813. Indians searching the settlement found him. They claimed him as their prisoner and forced him to this spot. Powerless, the local French watched as Wolf Fork's offer of $1,000 for the safe passage to the British in Detroit was spurned by the Indians. They shot him and left his body lying in the road. Although the French settlers could not help Wolfork, they did manage to ransom several other American prisoners with money, horses, and other valuables. Same thing on the other side? Yeah. Anderson Trading Post on this property in 1812 was the trading post of John Anderson, famed Scottish pioneer of the River Raisin. Anderson, colonel of militia in 1812, was taken prisoner at Detroit, later escaped. Mrs. Anderson, alone at the time of the River Raisin massacre, successfully defied frenzied Indians who invaded their premises and lapped from the basement floral whiskey which she had emptied from the barrels. Mrs. Anderson sat defiantly upon the family money chest as the savages threatened her with, unraised to with upraised tomahawks. Shame so many Indians fought one squaw. Mrs. Anderson cried, <laughs> Mrs. Anderson cried, Cowed by her words, the Indians left at the home and, were, and was not further molested. Anderson Trading Post. <laughs> oh, shame! So many Indians fought one squaw. She must have been something. <laughs> she must have been something. history just sitting there waiting to be discovered and I drive by it like a zombie every single day well not every day but a lot see that's kind of what I was talking about a while back ago you don't have to drive all across the state uh, 400 500 miles to find something like that I mean, sometimes, believe it or not, it's in your own backyard. And it's uh it's worth checking out. All right. That's about all I got. So, check out your local area see what's around you. I mean, oh my gosh, um, um, there's all kinds of things all around you. You just gotta pull off to the side and go check them out. And when you do, record it. Post it on YouTube. I love watching these kind of things. Alright, that's all I got for you now. Runaway Trucker, out.